Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox tutorial and today we're going to be covering Dreamcast, which is one of my favorite consoles of all time and it's actually one of my favorite systems to emulate. In the past, I have done a tutorial showing you how to do this with RetroArch, but today we're going to be using a standalone emulator called Redream. Now before we get started here, I do want to mention that Redream is free to use, but they do have a premium option and if you opt in for the premium option, you can upscale your games, but without the premium option, it's totally usable. You're just going to be stuck at that stock resolution. And in my opinion, still functions fine and looks great on a big screen. And one of the main reasons I personally choose to use Redream is compatibility and ease of use. We don't even need a BIOS to get these games up and running with Redream if you're using it standalone or with LaunchBox and BigBox. Okay, so let's go ahead and get Redream set up for LaunchBox. First things first, you will need some games. I have mine located on my desktop in a folder called Sega Dreamcast. Redream does support several different formats. We have CDI and I also have some GDI. GDI is recommended because we can use cheats with this, but I already have a lot of CDI games and they do work with Redream. And personally, I really haven't run into any issues except for not being able to use cheats. So what I'm gonna do here is just place these in my LaunchBox folder games and I'm going to drag this whole folder right over here just for easy access and now they're located in my launchbox directory so if I ever want to make this portable I can it's going to be no issue at all and while those are transferring over we're going to go ahead and download redream so we'll just choose download we're going to choose the Windows version I'm going to show in folder it's right here in my downloads folder right click I'm going to extract it now, if you do want to use the premium features, you can download your license and place it right in here, but I'm just going to use the free version for this video. And again, to make everything accessible from within the LaunchBox directory, we're going to place this right in our emulator section. So now I have Redream located in my LaunchBox directory. I'm going to start it up one time because there's a couple changes I like to do before we get into importing. From the menu here, we're going to go to full screen and under input, I actually like to change this exit emulator to escape. And while I'm here, I also set up a menu button in case I want to come back and change any of the settings. I usually set this up as a number key. You can also bind controller buttons to exit emulator or main menu. And if you do need to do any setup with the controller you're using for your PC right now, you can do it from within the input settings. Really easy to work with. We're going to close Redream down. And now we can move back over to LaunchBox, set up the emulator, and start importing our games. So from the drop-down menu, we're going to go to Tools, Manage Emulators, and we want to add a new emulator. And from here, we're just going to call this Redream. Now we need to find the emulator application path. Remember, we put it in our emulators folder inside of our LaunchBox directory. We're going to choose the EXE. Associated platforms, you want to make sure you add Sega Dreamcast. And we're going to use this as our default emulator. We'll choose OK and close. It's actually that simple to set it up for LaunchBox. Now it's time to import our games. From the drop down, we're going to choose Tools, Import, ROM files, and now I'm going to navigate to where I place my Dreamcast games, which is in my LaunchBox folder. I want to add that full folder, so we'll find games here, and I've named mine Sega Dreamcast. We're going to select this whole folder, choose Next. Now we need to choose the platform for our imported games, which is going to be Sega Dreamcast. And it should auto-populate Redream, but if not, you can use the drop-down menu. We'll choose Next. I'm going to use the files in their current location because they're already in my LaunchBox directory. We want to search for the game information from the LaunchBox database. We do want to download images for our game, so we'll choose Next here. As for specifying any custom options, we don't need to do anything, so we'll choose Next. And here we have it. We have the name of the game, the file location, and the extension. And all that's left to do is select Finish. LaunchBox is now going to download all of our metadata and artwork, give it a little time to finish up. So my games were imported successfully over in the left-hand column, Sega Dreamcast, and here we are. 
all that's really left to do here, start playing our favorite games. So I'm going to go with Marvel vs. Capcom 2. So I've swapped over to my Xbox controller and I already have this set up in the Redream emulator, but I just need to press one of my hotkeys to get into the main menu. We can turn off frame skip. I'm going to turn this completely off. I'm going to turn on my frame counter so I know how well this is running. And if you do need to go back and remap your controller, you can do it from the input section. Customize binds. And I have select to exit the emulator. That's going to bring me right back in the launch box. Main menu is my R3 button. We can also save from the now playing section. So overall, setting up Redream with Launchbox and Big Box is really simple. I'm a big fan of this emulator. I just love the ease of use here. No BIOS is required whatsoever, and it does support several different formats. GDI, CDI, Ben and Q, you name it, Redream supports it. Now, as you saw, I mapped my exit buttons from within the emulator itself, but you can also use an auto hotkey script if you want to. I just find it a lot simpler to set it up on my controller in the emulator. So if I press select, which I have set up for exit, it'll bring us right back in the launch box. And that's pretty much it for this video. We really appreciate you watching and I hope you have Redream set up for Dreamcast in launch box and big box. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.